Now people are asking us, I want to give a gift to this man and to that man. Can I give a gift? It is the occasion of Christmas. And I want to give a Christmas gift to my friend. And we tell them, my brother and my sister. Let me explain to you logically. You have chosen to be a Muslim. A Muslim means one who worships Allah alone and considers association of partnership with Allah as the highest form of blasphemy. Do you understand? So if you're a Muslim, you believe in Allah alone and any association of partnership with Allah is the highest form of blasphemy. So if it is the highest form of blasphemy, when people have considered someone a son of Allah and the Quran tells you, Takadu samawatu yatafattarna Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. The skies are about to rip apart because of the statement that they have uttered. Allahu Akbar. If you look at Surah Maryam towards the end, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention of a powerful verse. He says, how could they have said that I have a son? And they are insulting Allah by saying that Allah has a son. The earth would like to crumble and the sky would like to split because of the seriousness of that crime. And yet we want to take a gift and say, have a happy day associating partners with Allah. Do you understand why? As Muslims, it would be wrong for us to take a gift. We are taking a gift and saying, my brother, you have associated partners with Allah. Allah says it is the biggest blasphemy against him. But take this gift, it's okay. From me, I'm a Muslim. Allahu Akbar. Can we understand and realize why we are going wrong? The same would apply if we were to give someone a gift of Diwali or tell them happy Diwali, for example. What we are actually telling them is, I am really praying that you enjoy your day associating partners with Allah and this celebration you have of the entire association of the greatest and worst of partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I'm telling you have a happy day you deserve the enjoyment and here's my gift may Allah safeguard us